Good evening and thank you to, for coming to the school board meeting tonight. Uh, my name, for those of you who do not know me, is Ken Alt, and I am currently a school board member serving my second term. And tonight I would like to uh, present to you a study of the South Morton School District's failure to plan facilities, finance, and future. Since 2001, enrollment has declined by 436 students. That's according to Piper Jaffrey, uh, the bond company that just reissued our bonds. At a 1 to 20 ratio for teacher to student, we would need 22 teachers less than in 2001. At this time, one teacher costs us, the taxpayer, about $84,000 a year. And if you multiply that by 22, you would come up with $1,848,000. Over the years, this would add up to about $1 million a year, allowing for low salaries of these beginning teachers in their early years. Declining enrollment has continued for 40 years. If you go back to 1970, you will see a continual pattern that has never changed of declining enrollment as the baby boomers graduated from school. Administration has failed to address declining enrollment and continues to overstaff at Southmoreland at all levels of employment and refuses to do critical planning for the future of Southmoreland School District. Proper management would have decreased teaching staff by one to two teachers each year. Our highly paid administration has ignored this trend at great taxpayer waste and expense. For several years, we've had enrollment losses of over 100 students per year, which translates into five to six less teachers. Between today and five years from now, enrollment is projected to decline another 110 students. At a ratio of one to 20 teacher student, that means we'll need five less teachers by 2007. At the high school, we have a capacity for 1,030 students. Today we have about 646 students at the high school. We are under capacity by 384 students. And since 2001, with 1,000 less students at the high school, a lot of unutilized and unused space has existed. Keeping, keeping the administration building open costs us about $100,000 a year. The administration building should have been closed 12 years ago, and those offices moved to the underutilized high school space, and the building could have been sold as a cash asset or rented. The New Scottdale campus, which is our elementary and middle school, when ground broke on this $60 million building project, we were already over building for the number of students we would have in the future. No excuse for a new debt of that magnitude on the backs of taxpayers in spite of assertions that building new buildings bring in new residents. The new school cost us about $60 million in principal and interest and it was an abuse of taxpayers' money. In 2008, when construction finished in Scottsdale, we had a capacity for 1,416 in Scottsdale and an additional 375 at the Alberton Primary Center. Southmoreland School District had 2,146 students and a declining enrollment. We overbuilt by 675 students at that time. As of today, we have overbuilt by 860 students. By 2017, many years before it is paid off, we can shatter more than half the new building as the total enrollment will have dropped to 1,851 and we will be 970 students overbuilt. Building capacity is 2,821. Present enrollment is not 1,961 students. We presently have building capacity for 860 students who do not, do not exist. There has been no planning for any building consolidation or reconfiguration by the administration. The administration has never initiated discussion on this issue with the board to date. In 2008, when the Scottsdale campus was completed, we had a capacity for 1,416 elementary students. We should have closed Alberton with the opening of the new Scottsdale campus. Underutilizing both Scottsdale campus and Alberton, 
has cost taxpayers about a million five hundred thousand a year times those five years translates into waste of seven million five hundred thousand dollars administrative services are costing us nearly one million eight hundred thousand per, per year for what Dr. Fike and I are doing basically their job in this area of presenting facts and figures to contain costs consistent with enrollment declines and taxpayers inability to pay rising taxes we've heard very little from the administration as to how they plan to remedy anything other than to raise the taxes overstaffed teachers the ratio of 1 to 20 22, 22 less teachers translates into a million dollars administrative building kept open at a cost of one million two hundred thousand dollars new school for one thousand four hundred and sixteen elementary students overbuilt by eight hundred and sixty students today at an added unnecessary cost of twenty million dollars what we've done on that twenty million dollars is originally you saw that it was sixty million what we realized is we did need some building space but not to the tune of a new school so what we've allowed for is twenty million dollars to fix fix or update any physical structure to bring it in line with the uh, student population. Alberton kept open per year calculations about seven million five hundred thousand. So on a conservative side, we've totally overspent by thirty million five hundred and forty eight thousand dollars. Thirty million five hundred and forty eight thousand is just a fraction of what mismanagement at Southmore and School District is costing the taxpayers. Dr. Fike in her YouTube presentation in May of 2012 stressed the need for a grassroots cost containment effort led by the board and the community. The administration has failed to do this for us. All district employees have a conflict of interest when it comes to cost containment as it involves appropriate teaching and administrative ratios achieved by furlough. Administration has demonstrated their unwillingness to contain costs as we are overstaffed, overbuilt, and $30,548,000 conservatively overspent. The long-range planning for South Moreland School District has not and does not currently exist. Over the years, it was the responsibility of the school board to monitor and direct the administration to take action to assure appropriate staffing levels. They have clearly failed to do so. With declining enrollment, we should have seen expense and tax reductions. Instead, we get more taxing and increased spending. Southmoreland School District owes $48 million on mortgage payments to the year 2029, when public education may not even exist as we know it in brick and mortar schools. Southmoreland School District owes $2 million plus in pension bonuses, while teacher salary increased in three years $991,000 in spite of the fact that we have significantly fewer students to teach. I'm suggesting that committee with other board members to present recommendations and solutions consistent with declining enrollment for board action until overstaffing, overbuilding, and overspending trends are reversed. We need to assure that Southmoreland School District district is financially secure and taxpayers are treated fairly through open and honest communication between all parties the public the district administration and the school board times have changed dramatically and we need to face the future as a united body to preserve and provide a quality education which is not in conflict with financial discipline and sound fiscal practices if we do not, we will lose what is very precious to us. Our children will be deprived of the great educational environment we are working so hard to preserve in conjunction with fair and equitable treatment of our tax-paying constituents. The Pennsylvania School Board Coalition is a coalition of elected school board directors and concerned taxpayers who are actively participating to reform their local school districts throughout the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Our interest is not recruiting and or endorsing any candidate for school board elections. Instead, we, are, we offer and share strategies and information to empower existing school board members, activists, and citizens to become leaders for reform in their districts. 
The PSBC, not affiliated with the Pennsylvania School Board Association, is a group of concerned taxpayers based in Lancaster, PA, who have found the, the currently identified problems of our South Mother School District are not at all unique in any way. Rather, at a recent local seminar featuring PSBC officials, we learned that most all Pennsylvania school districts are facing similar budget and space management problems. New school board members indoctrination and training programs discourage critical examination and analysts of school budgets and operational requirements. They fund they find that new school board members are being systematically encouraged to rubber stamp administrative recommendations without challenge. They strongly stress the need for new school board members and the public to understand the budget process and to demand detailed budgetary information. Most importantly, they emphasize that the pending pension and benefit crisis is not being properly addressed on a very widespread basis in the Commonwealth. Public taxpayer awareness and input are being stifled, resulting in a form of taxation without representation. Thank you all for your time tonight and your attention.